I just arrived. There's nobody here, thank God. I always have flowers. Griselda never has anything. Purecita. So let me just sit here and take a picture with my phone. Just want to tell you guys that I miss you guys so much, and every year is as hard as it is as it was that same day. So. I don't want to say much because I don't want to start crying. But I love you guys. I really do love you guys. I'm so sorry that you guys are not here with me. Hopefully no one gets here at this point, but I'm going to give you guys one memory of each. Now, Raul, I remember the first time I met you, I was so embarrassed because you were a senior and I was a freshman. I never thought you would like me. And when you asked me to be your girlfriend, I was really surprised. I don't remember you ever disrespecting me in any way. And I thank you for that. What I remember most was beat your smile and your eyes. I remember how excited I would get when you would go to Myra's house. Because I knew I would see you in a bit. And I remember how jealous I was, I guess, because I was younger. But I thank you for every moment I spent with you. I really do. And I thank you for saving my life. <laughs> Candy, the first time I saw you, I thought you were so, so active, so, so there. You were always so fun to be with. <laughs> you were so funny all the time. You would call me monkey nose, and I would call you turtle nose. I'm so glad I met you, though, because we became great friends. And Griselda, I just feel so bad for you. You were at the wrong moment, at the wrong time and place. You weren't supposed to be there with me, or with us. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> I apologize deeply. <laughs> but I love you all three as much as anything. Because <laughs> what we went through was too much. And I really wish all three of us, all three of you, were here with Efrain and myself. But only God knows why. But I love you guys so much and I miss you. And I think of you guys every single day of my life.
so I'm heading over to one of the spots, um, basically the spot where I ended up leaving Raul and Candy, and I'll tell you a little bit more about that when I get there, but I'm leaving the cemetery now, and they're right there where the red flowers are at, they're right at the edge of the tree. The spot where I should be in. I like the cemetery a lot. When I come I feel like at peace. You know. And when I leave I always think I could be, I could have been there, you know, I could have been under this ground. Instead of me visiting them, it could have been them visiting me and it's something I always think about. It's funny how sometimes people ask me, you know, when I die, when I want, where I want to be buried, and it is obvious that I would have loved to be very buried next to them because that is exactly where I belong. It's so hard, so hard for me to to still get it, to get that I'm here for a reason, and. And that I'm lucky, you know, I'm lucky to have given a second chance. When sometimes all I think about is... Am I doing my second chance the right way? <laughs> the way I should be doing it, you know? <laughs> and then sometimes I think of them if they would have been here you know what we would have been up to right now there's always so many whys and what ifs but I guess those don't exist anymore it is what it is and I'm here and they're not and <laughs> but okay I'm gonna hit that spot and I'll talk to you guys once again <laughs>